In this video, we're going to show you how to install the upstream oxygen sensor on your Infiniti G37X, located on the tail section of your exhaust manifold. Start by opening your hood and using a 10 millimeter socket, we're going to loosen and remove the hardware securing the engine cover. Set that hardware aside, grab that cover, and gently lift upward, remove it, and set it aside. Using an eight millimeter socket, we're gonna loosen our hose clamp for our inner intake tube to our throttle body. You can also use a flathead screwdriver if you want. Make sure that's good and loose. If you follow over here, we have a vacuum port right here. We're gonna go ahead and separate this portion of our hose instead of from here. Really doesn't matter which one you do, but this one here is a little bit easier to gain access to. So use your pliers, move that clamp down. I'm gonna use my hose pliers here to gently grab a hold of this, twist it. And work that hose off. Go ahead and work your way down here to the sensor. There's a tab right here. You're gonna push in on this tab and pull that connector off. With that separated, follow the harness over to this connector. This is just a retaining tab holding this to the air box itself. You can use needle as pliers, just push in on these little tabs and push that through. Go ahead and undo your air box clamps by simply pulling up. And then over to the right hand side, there's a 10 millimeter bolt for the air box. Get to remove that bolt. Now we did go ahead and disconnect our clamps here for our filter setup. Pull it out, set it aside. Now we're gonna follow this right back up to our throttle body. And we wanna separate this from the throttle body. Pull this up. Pull up on this unit and remove it from the vehicle. So over here underneath our throttle body, go down in the back, there's a gray connector right down here. This is it, this is the O2 sensor connector. In order to gain access to that, we need to get this heater hose out of the way. So how we're gonna do that, we're gonna take this clamp, we're gonna loosen it and bring that back. We're gonna disconnect this heater hose. Now there's coolant inside this hose, so we have a catch can underneath it. We are gonna lose some coolant. You don't want to let that run all over the ground. Once we pull that hose back, we'll be able to gain access to this connector. We're gonna push on this little tab on the back side of it, separate that. And once we're separated up here, we can go ahead down to the back side of the exhaust manifold and remove the O2 sensor. Use our pliers. Slide that back. Give it a little twist there to make sure you can break it free. Break the rubber hose free from the metal pipe. Now you can see we lost a little bit of coolant here. Be sure to check the levels once you're done. Go ahead and take that hose. I'm just gonna flip it up in the back there. And that'll give us access to this connector here. Now this is still pretty tight. I'm using my flathead screwdriver to push down on this little, on the lock tab, the retaining tab to release the connectors. Now the harness itself is attached to a little brown clip. It's a retaining tab. If you can slide your connector off of that, and then you can go ahead and pinch this connector and slide that off. Now that we have the two separated, I just wanna make sure that that harness is now loose. The harness itself is attached to a retainer on the bracket on the back side here. So what you're gonna do is follow the harness down. It's about two inches down to this bracket and you're going to feel a hook tab 
and you're going to push the harness out of that retainer towards the driver's side or the driver's side fender. There it is, just popped right out. And I'm gonna push that connector down. Now we're using our O2 sensor socket and we're using half inch drive here with a swivel. And we're feeding this down behind the engine. We're gonna go ahead and get that O2 sensor pulled out from the bottom at this point. So let's go ahead and do that. So now we can reach up along the side of the cat. Our socket had stuck to our O2 sensor and here it is. We're gonna feed our O2 sensor up in a position. Now the threads themselves have NEC's compound on there from the factory. Now our ideal plan is to start this by hand, get that threaded in, and at the same time we need to rotate this harness with it, we don't want it to bind up while we're doing this. So we're going to thread that in as far as we can by hand, and that's it. So we're going to go back up top and we'll put our extension with our socket on there and we'll tighten that down. Now at this point here, we're going to go ahead and snug this down until we can fill that crush washer seat. Okay, I felt that seal and I can't tighten it anymore. So we'll go ahead and remove our tool and now we'll go ahead and feed our wire up and connect that to the harness up top. Now that we have the harness pulled up, we're gonna feed it back into that little metal clip on the back side of that bracket here. Okay. And then once we have that, install the connector end. All right, so press that connector together. Give it a little tug, make sure it's locked in and it is. Secure this back onto our a little bracket down below here. Bring over our heater hose. I'll line that up. Work the heater hose back on. And we can use our pliers to put that clamp into position. hose secured, our O2 sensor, harness and clip secured, and the sensor is installed down below. When you install the air intake box here, you want to pay attention to the two posts that will have to go into the rubber grommets down in the frame area and make sure that the tube mates up to this here and locks into this as we install this component. Okay. As you push this down, the rubber grommet will line up with the bracket on the side here. And then we we'll want to go ahead and install this rubber hose here. In conjunction with the throttle body hose here. position. We're going to go ahead and use our pliers to bring this hose clamp up into position. I 
Up on top at the throttle body, we can now secure the clamp here. And when tightening this here, you're gonna feel that hose clamp snug down. Just give it a little bit more. You don't wanna over tighten it as you can actually strip the clamp. So you wanna make sure that's good and snug enough where you won't introduce any vacuum leaks to the throttle body. Down to the sensor here. Go ahead, install the harness, press that on. You're gonna feel it and hear it snap into place. Go ahead and install the harness retainer right here on the side. We can now install our air filter. Now's a perfect time if you need to replace the air filter. Simply pull out of the tray, replace it. Slide this down inside. Press down your retaining clips. Install the air box retaining bolt and snug it down. Place the engine cover up on top. Line up the two studs here and the remaining will line up themselves. Go ahead and grab your hardware and get everything started by hand. Two nuts on the front and the remaining three bolts. Once you get these started, you can go ahead and gently snug them down. Here we are on the front side of the engine and we have our radiator cap right here. This is attached to the front side of the engine. So we want to go ahead and open this up and you want to use a funnel, a clean funnel. In our case, we're going to use our adapter kit here. Definitely use the appropriate coolant recommended for the engine. And you want to go ahead and fill this up until it doesn't take any more into the water neck here or the coolant neck. Now at this point, we're going to go ahead and remove our funnel. We do have coolant up onto the top side of our water neck here, so we're going to open this up. And we're going to install our cap. Turn that clockwise and lock that into place. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.